r slash ask reddit. Now sernamad12 says. What's the grossest thing you've ever done? Now sernamad12 says. When I was a teenager I used to pick cigarettes off the floor and smoke them. I have no idea why I used to do that, but I think it was cause I couldn't get a hold of them lol. Now sernamad12 says. I'm honestly hoping someone makes me feel better about this. Cheap Bumbler B7089 says. Force myself out of a woman's vagina, crying, covered in blood, shit and piss. That aside, being born is probably a close second. Munsterbumman says. Was at a party, and took a sip of beer from a bottle. Turned out it was someone else's chewing tobacco spit bottle with bonus cigarette buds in it. Structure a monkey says. I was watching a family member's puppy. We were outside playing, when it decided it was time to poop. She delivered a very white turd which was easy to see from a distance in the dark green grass. Wondering why it was white, I walked over to take a look, the poop divided itself into a few thousand white spaghetti like worms and quickly scurried away. I'm still damaged by this experience. Edit, sorry, I thought the last word in the question was seen. Sandwich Crooker says. Oh hey, my favorite dog did, that after we got him as a puppy, all his litter mates died, and I was told to come get him, before he died too. My grandma wormed him immediately, and gave him a flea bath. His stomach was huge and his gums were white. She gave him soft canned food and puppy formula. He pooped straight worms for 3 days straight before there was ever the slightest tinge of brown. I'm pretty sure his first 5 weeks gave him brain damage, because he was the dumbest dog I've ever met. He'd get excited, and just run into the wall he definitely knew was there, he ate the entire tarp off my grandparents grill, an entire pork bone without chewing, my porchment, rocks from my toddler, if I didn't stop them both in time. He was terrified of stray cats, and stupid strong. Strong enough to break his tether all the time and run off to the house up the road to visit his friend, but dumb enough to come running back joyfully when I called him, proudly dragging the remains of the new tether I'd just bought. Right up until I began to lead him back to his tether, then he'd cry pitifully and beg until I picked him up to carry him. It happened so often that we got to know those people just so we could make sure they didn't think he was a stray and they could call us to come get him if they noticed him there before we noticed him gone. He was a mostly chow chow slash pitbull mix and he was absolutely certain that he was a small lap. Middle underscore light 8602 says. Who I just remembered the worst. Okay 2. Oh god. 1. As a brand new CNA I had a client in a posh facility. She had a nurse give her an enema. Nurse left me alone with her. She said, don't worry, you just do x y and z. Gone. This is one of those super nice places, where everyone has basically an apartment. Anyhow, lady shits like a literal volcano. Everywhere. On the mirrors, the walls, her clothes, the towels we put down as prep. Showered her off, and she slept while I cleaned. It was rank. 2. Last October my husband, Phil and I went to France to visit grandma. Grandma lived in Sanary, on the Mediterranean coast. I got food poisoning like day one and shit myself hollow that week, but the worst was the day we walked from her apartment to the beach and my guts started rumbling right as we got there. Nowhere to go. At all. And I was absolutely not capable of going back. It hit hard. And I. Shit in the sea. I shit in the Mediterranean Sea. I swam out to a rocky outcrop, where I was isolated and just. Did it. I felt bad about it, but I had no other options. I'd quit says. Not me but a guy my dad knew in high school. Trust me I have you all beat on this. The kid played soccer and somehow, got a massive scab on his thigh. I think he was cleated while playing soccer, or got a massive scrape, after falling off his bike, I forget. Anyway the guy had a flesh wound the size of a piece of bologna on his leg and eventually the whole thing scabbed over. 
Once it was one big scab the guy carefully and methodically peeled off the frick, I'm scab, then he put it between two slices of bread and made what he called a scab sandwich. And yeah, he took a big bite out of it in front of his friends. Hi Alvearly says. Nurse here. Digital disimpaction is up there on my list. Pala Horsui says. I was deployed as an anti-piracy contractor. The ship I was on was super old, and the crew was all Indian. Because it was so old, the sewage system was too weak to flush toilet paper. Originally, the crew was instructed to wipe and throw it in the trash can. No one did, and kept clogging the system. When it clogged, it would shoot poop water out of all the nearby toilets. The captain got mad and took all the toilet paper off the ship. I asked how we are supposed to wipe. The captain told me how a lot of Indians do, use your hand and water. Cold not bring myself to do that, so I stole napkins from the dining room and used those. R slash ask reddit. Jixis says. What series cheered you up or helped you during difficult sad times? Alfiesmum says. Shits Creek. Venkman Zero says. Ted Lasso. Gatotha Pakafter Dark says. Trailer Park Boys. Finnell Boots says. Parks and Rec. Gluten Free Decalo says. The office on repeat when I'm experiencing depression. Usually by the time I get to season 8, I'm coming out of it. Stevie Steve says. Arrested development. The layers of jokes in that show and the utter absurdity of it never fails to make me feel better. Gatotha Pakafter Dark says. The Office. Johnny Khan Quest says. Malcolm in the middle. Deep Brucey says. Scrubs got me through some rough times. Stajixi says. Bojack Horseman. Smilimum19 says. I watched Futurama on repeat during my really bad depression. This was before the newer ones came out. That freak, I'm dog episode lol. Grimmy Scorpia Duffman says. The Simpsons. Any underscore assignment underscore 4085 says. Friends really saved me. Mysterious World 193 says. The Office. Works every time. Square 3481 says. Psych. I went through having a series of anxiety attacks last year due to general stress and health issues, and that show was my rock. It's Scooby Doo for adults, and it was consistently fun, dumb, and hilarious. Thisla Wirtittle says. Futurama. Ransom0374 says. The first few seasons of Rick and Morty tripped me out I loved it. Hoi Yan Schertzer says. Star Trek, Lower Decks it's a bit manic in the first few episodes, but after that, the storytelling is excellent, the action is well paced, the jokes get even better, and the characters are relatable. It's my antidepressant. Jixis says. Futurama seems to be a winner so far, at least 3 to 4 people mentioned it. Danavel says. Lost two of my pets within 15 days recently. I've been binge watching the BBC series Vera while I needlepoint. There's something about Brenda Blethyn's love and pet that very soothing to me. Peanut Butter Bandit underscore says. Wilfred. Wazoom says. Friends always brings a smile to my face. Fruits Paquette Kano says. House MD. Sure I don't share his intelligence, but everything else was me, on the screen. Gave me some perspective. Royman40 says. The Last Kingdom. Movihoro Punk says. Father Ted in between us bottom. Pillowcase99999 says. Red Dwarf. Jojinono17 says. Once upon a time. Whisker Skeevland says. 
I binge watched how I met your mother when I was going through health anxieties that were reaching paranoia levels which kept my mind off it for a bit. Stormwolf says. Black books, the it crowd. I tend to go for British satire and comedy. Red Wolf and Blackard are also favorites. Skcharky says. My little pony, friendship is magic got me through 3 years on the night shift. Astragal 2020 says. Modern family. Iceberger 22 says. Avatar, the last airbender. Aterlibitaly 67 says. The good place. So wholesome and endearing. Pinkista Light says. Reno 911. Yolanda underscore, Winston says. New girl. J3LL066 says. Steven Universe was a safe show for me when I was growing up in a crappy home. Dom Franken says. Narcus is my comfort series. Fottom96 says. Grey's Anatomy and The Walking Dead. Basically underscore nonfoot says. That 70s show. Piganator Gaming says. 2016 was a rough time for my secondary school life. Shit was ruthless gbh. To answer your question, and my little pony, friendship is magic. That shit taught me more about friendship than I had learned in all my 15 years of being alive. I'm 21 now and still have some of the lessons etched into me. That's all for this video thank you for watching please subscribe.